We're not concerned with if he, they get re-sentenced or not, uh, but we're concerned about the tension that the DA is applying to this. Concern and hope tonight. Willa Menendez brothers serving life for their parents' murder in 1989 be released from prison. Good evening. Welcome to Fox 7 News at 10. I'm Alex Michaels. And I'm Christine Devine. A decision on resentencing for the Menendez brothers is expected by Friday. Not everybody wants to see them let out. Fox 11's Matthew Seedorf live tonight outside the Hall of Justice in downtown L.A. Matthew. Alex, Christine, so much attention has been focused on this case all over the country and the world. Now the DA says he could make a decision on possible resentencing as early as tomorrow. So I plan to have a decision by the end of this week. The highly anticipated decision expected by Friday into the possible resentencing of the notorious Menendez brothers. What do you think is going to happen to these brothers? If I had to guess, mm -hmm. I'd say they're probably getting out. A wow. former federal prosecutor wow. announcing on Good Day LA Wednesday, he believes the brothers will be resentenced. I would say it's powerful right. evidence. You know, there's a lot of pressure on people, but times, mm -hmm. like you said, yeah. times have changed. Mm -hmm. Eric and Lyle Menendez have been in prison more than 30 years, serving life sentences for shooting and killing their parents, Jose and Kitty, in 1998, inside their Beverly Hills mansion. That's why you're so hard on us. But it's this hit Netflix series released two months ago that has brought attention to their defense, detailing years of abuse from the boy's father. I cannot help but think of how things would be different if the world had known the truth back then. Some family members in front of a frenzy of media last week calling for the brothers' release. They killed their parents out of active self-defense. While supporters worldwide describe Eric and Lyle as victims. They should be released already. It's been 35 years. Posting public videos to a Change.com petition that has now received more than 416,000 signatures calling for an appeal. We're working very aggressively. To come up with a decision. LA County District Attorney George Gascone tells Fox 11 he hasn't and won't watch the Netflix series. There are people in my office that believe that they were not sexually assaulted. There are people in my office that believe that they were sexually assaulted, but I am not prepared to decide on that yet. Alex Michelson on the issue is speaking with Nathan Hockman, who's challenging Gascone in next month's election. You think he's doing this now because he's hurting in the polls and he needs attention? Timing-wise, the time is extraordinarily suspicious. The Menendez lawyers filing new evidence for a possible retrial almost 17 months before Gascon's announcement. He holds a press conference to announce that he's thinking about the Menendez case, a case that he had already had in, his, in the office for a year and a half. George Gascon is picking and choosing which cases, and we didn't know the DA did that. Victim advocates expressing frustration with a decision on the Menendez brothers expected any day. He's dealing with criminals and celebrities. And by us not being a celebrity or a criminal, murder victims' families don't get no help. The DA's office tells me tonight that no decision has been made, but they'll let us know soon. Of course, all of this happening less than two weeks before the election. Reporting live tonight, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 11 News. Matthew Seedorf with a comprehensive look at a complicated issue. Matthew, thank you so much.